Hello, 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 and welcome to Stamp Therapy with Shell. My name is Shelly Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Today, we are going to be having a play with the Berry Cute Stamp Set. This is part of the Berry Christmas Suite Collection found on page 22 of the mini catalog. And this is a gorgeous suite of products. However, because this is stamp therapy, we are doing simple, easy, cute cards. So today I decided to pull out the Berry Christmas Memories and More card pack. So we are going to be having a play with that today. I have also got a Knight of Navy ink pad. I've got various ribbons here. I have, haven't got a clue what I'm going to use. And I have got some pre-cut, I've pre-cut some kits here. So let's just grab one of these navy ones and we'll get started. So our card base for this one is Knight of Navy. Eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Make sure I have the right piece for this. They're exactly the same. So yes, I do. All right. On the inside, I am going to put a piece of basic white. So I have a nice place to write a greeting. And we'll just try to make that as even as we can on all the sides. And there we have it. Now, um, for the outside, we are going to build our card on this white panel. And I have cut down one of the Memories and More cards. And then I'm going to reconstruct it on this white panel. Because the Memory and More card that I was using is larger than a standard card. And I wanted my card to be a standard card. All right, and then what I did is I cut the greeting off it, and I'm going to put that onto the card front with dimensionals. Now, I have all the package opened. I'm simply going to attach these to the back of each of these little pieces of cut up greeting. And as an added bonus, the first five orders that I receive for next week will be receiving um, a little sample pack of these Memory and More cards so that you can see what they're all about for yourself. All right, let's start with... Christmas. Throw those over there. Christmas. And then we'll put together over here together. And then we'll go is better on an angle just to draw a little attention to it. Now we need some ribbon. I have gold sparkly ribbon. I have white sparkly ribbon. I have the ribbon that's part of that suite. I might try that. See if I can put a little knot here. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to just chop some off and then we'll see what we can do. This is a velvet ribbon and it's a little bit thicker than a typical Stampin' Up! ribbon. So it's a little a little harder to work with in my opinion. I'm going to cut this 
like so. Then I'm going to use some tear and tape. I'm going to hold a bit, find the end. I'm going to put this tape on the back side of the ribbon. Like so. And once I lift off this adhesive, I'm going to put that other piece of ribbon on like so. Then we will wrap it around our card, covering that seam like so. And then this is already attached, so all I have to do is put a little knot. And I need to twist that over. Because we want a sparkly side showing for sure. There we go. See how that adds just a little bit of zazazoo? Well, that didn't I have the wrong scissors. I need my ribbon scissors. Just chewed it instead of cutting it. There we go. All right. How sparkly and pretty is that? Now, another item that's in this suite of products, let me get there, page 23, are these um, glitter, adhesive back glitter sequins. And they are fabulous. They are so sparkly. So I think we should use some of those on our card as well. Just to Uh, just a wee bit more zazazoo. Just like so. Isn't that pretty? All right. We're going to flip this over. Put some dimensionals on the back. And how easy is this card? Because it's made with the... Um, memories and more basically this is just an assembly card now make sure I'm putting it on the right side of my card base and boom there is our first card. Look how sparkly that is. Hope the camera's picking that up. Christmas is better together. And then it's just plain on the inside. Set that one aside. We're going to go on to this mossy meadow one. This one, once again, has a plain white inside. And we'll just pop that in place. Burnish that score line. This one here is one of the cards. One side said Season's Greetings. The other side has these cute little bears. So I am simply going to layer this on the front of this card. Nothing too difficult with any of these cards. Then this was another card. I just used a punch and I punched out a circle with the greeting in it. 
And then I see that I have a little catch there where the punch didn't punch it right. Oh, there's a couple of places. There we go. So we're just going to layer that greeting together. And then we need to decide where we're going to put this greeting on our card. See, there's just a little tiny navy shadow. Now, if we put it there, you can see these four bears. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put it right there, but I'm going to use dimensionals. And then we need to have some sort of embellishment on this one. All right, we'll cover up that bear. Make sure my greeting's straight. Let's have a look at this Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. I wonder. Let's just make a bow. Let's see what that looks like. So we can get it nice and tight and flat. There we go. front end of this bow. There we go. Trim these tails down. All right. I think that should go right there. Yep, I do. I need some glue dots for this one. I think these cards are so cute. And one more. Oops, stay there. We'll just pop that in place right there. And then take care of that tail. Now for this one, I think we're just gonna go with a couple of snowflakes. I have these adhesive back snowflakes and I don't think we want those big ones or the copper ones. Let's just do some white ones. Maybe I will put a rhinestone or two in the center. I think I'll do that. That will actually make them even more. I'm just going to go with a basic rhinestone. How about an iridescent rhinestone? Yep, let's do it. Just to give it a little more sparkle and shine. There we go. Now, I don't know whether the camera is picking those up or not. I hope so. There is our second card. All right, we're going to move along and grab card number three. Once again, I have chosen a 
Knight of Navy card base. And we have a white panel for the inside. Outside, I've used, used the opposite side of this one. And this one says Season's Greetings. And I pulled that daffodil matte color from the stars in the trees. And that really brightens it up a whole lot, in my opinion. There we go. Now this one, we're going to put this one on dimensionals. If I can find them, I've just been tossing everything over to the side here. There we go. Now before I do anything, I'm going to... I think I'm going to use the navy glittered ribbon. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little bow. And by using this ribbon, I will be able to use gold for my embellishment. Now, I want another little piece of this because my idea is that I'm going to put this up here, but I'm going to wrap this around first. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe just this. Let me do this. And glue dots once again. And There we go. One for that other tail. There we go. Now I need some gold. And I'm thinking I have some gold swirls that were part of that online exclusives. So we're going to use them. We're going to play up that gold that is in that ribbon. And then we can flip this over, remove those paper backings, and attach this to our card front. How pretty is that one? Woo! See all that sparkle? There's card number three. Only one more to go, my friends. And this one, too, is a Knight of Navy. But I have paired this one with vanilla for the inside layer because um, the front has vanilla on it instead of white so i didn't want it to clash there's our inside and we are going to build our outside now i am going to cut this down because 
I want to use it as a matte layer. So this is four by five and a quarter. This one should be three and three quarters by five. I'm going to take that strip off the top and now we need three and three quarters. So that's about an eighth of an inch off of each side. There we go. That should do it. Let's have a look. Yep. Can you see how that vanilla pairs well with the print in that paper? There's a peek at the back side of that card. All these cards are double sided. go. All right. Now I have this little strip here. I'm going to glue that on the inside to pretty that up because I don't want to toss it. I think it's pretty. There we go. Now this was a card and I cut it out of the card. I just fussy cut it. Now I could put that on there, but it's pretty flat. Whereas if I put this on and I pop it up, it's going to add some dimension, right? So I'm going to use my dimensionals yet again. And Oops, that one's not in a very good position. There we go. Let's bring this down, making sure I cover the greeting underneath because we don't want to be able to see that. Then we're going to put dimensionals on the back side of this one. So thus far, we haven't done any stamping at all. So it doesn't get any easier than that. It really doesn't. And you can dress these up or leave them very, very plain. You can add more layers. You can do whatever makes you happy. All right, this one. I wonder if I have any vanilla ribbon. Ooh, I have a vanilla with gold. I wonder what that would look like. No, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. We always bring in, oh, I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just going to make a knot in this one. I'm not going to do a bow. This one looks a little bit more on the masculine side to me, so I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to do a little knot. Trim off these tails. No more. All right, so I have this little knot, and that is 
from the Navy Borders ribbon from the annual catalog. And we're going to need some embellishments for that. Why don't we go... Hmm. I have... Which one of those dots has navy dots in it? Enamel dot essentials. That's the ones. Now, there are some vanilla. I'm wondering what it would look like if I put the large dot in each of the corners of this. Just to add a little something without being too frou-frou, <laughs> if that's a word. Like I said, you don't have to dress these up. You can just leave them plain as they are. It's whatever makes you happy. They, these videos are supposed to be um, stress-free, easy stamping, nothing too difficult at all. Here, I'm going to put another couple on here just to secure that bow. Well, that didn't help matters, I made it worse instead of better. There we go. All right, there is our fourth and final card. May your Christmas be cozy. Oh, yes, somewhere in this pile, I stamped, <laughs> if I can find them, I stamped some polar bears. I stamped them in navy ink, and I have some cut out we can see which of these cards we think that we might want to put a polar bear on. I think this one's fine as it is because it's already got polar bears. This one might be fun to have a mom and a baby going across there. What do you think of that? Do we want that? Do we not want that? Then this one, he could be walking right across there. I like that. I am going to glue him flat. And I just stamp these in navy ink using the stamp in the very cute stamp set. Just so that we have a little bit of something for the front of the cards if we needed it. Wondering if they want one down here. I think maybe we do. All right, I am going to use this one and I will fussy cut another one. But I have an idea. See, that one will cover that guy right underneath completely. Perfect. So now the only one I have left to work on is this guy, and I want to try something. I want to color that's going to be too dark.
Well, this one's more pink. I think I'll go with that first one and just add a little bit of shadowing just to take some of that whiteness away. Yeah, I like that. Maybe we'll go down here, down here. And as this dries, it's going to fade anyway. And I'm just going to cut this guy out. If I can find some snips. I think they're buried here. There they are. And just throw those ones over there for use at another time. Throw those right in the bits box. And I'm going to cut this one out. And I mean, we want our polar bear to be white, but it just looks so stark on here because of the vanilla in all the other elements on the front of the card. So I think by adding that little bit of darker shadow, it's going to help it blend a little bit better. As you can see in this card here, there's even some yellow tones in that print. in reality there's no such thing as a snow white polar bear and almost done here one more foot all right I think we'll put mama first and baby coming in the back. And there's our little guy, just the prancing. <laughs> How cute is that? I like it and then this one just kind of makes that one pop a little bit this guy just looks like he's in the foreground and all his friends are in the background and then this one I didn't do any additional okay my friends that is it that's our cards for today thank you so much for stopping by like I said anybody who um, the first five people who place an order with me this week will be getting a little sampler pack of these Memories and More cards in with their order. And uh, my order goes in on Wednesday morning, bright and early. So please have your orders to me by Tuesday night at 6 p.m. I will be back here my uh, Sundays at 10 and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. I'm doing the um, more simpler cards stamp therapy with shell and Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon I will be doing the lunch break with shell videos where we'll be doing some fun folds and some techniques and stuff like that so kind of the best of both worlds thanks for stopping by see you later bye bye <laughs>